is a NASA mission decades in the making and delayed for years because it is so complex. And now we hope the James Webb Space Telescope will finally be sent into, Chris, or into space on Christmas Day. We say good morning by phone to NASA scientist Dr. Eric Smith. Putting a mission into space is job. You just launch this big, heavy thing up into space. The hard part begins. Tell me how things will literally unfold from there. After we launch uh, the James Webb Space Telescope, for about the first two weeks or so, we will be deploying uh, not only the mirror, but the sun shield that keeps the telescope cool and uh, sunlight uh, from getting to the mirror. And so that two week period uh, will be very exciting as it goes through these uh, complex uh, motions. Will, will you know in almost real time if, if things are going according to plan and is there anything that we can do here on Earth if they do not go according to plan? Yes, we get uh, telemetry or data back from the spacecraft telling us exactly the state of deployment. So how far have things moved? And if, if it hasn't moved uh, as we initially planned, there are several ways to address the electronics. You could try a different set of electronics. We have redundant electronics or there are motors you can run forward and backward. Uh, the good thing is that uh, once the solar array comes out and we do a small correction burn, all the activities after that can be done whenever they're ready to be done. So we don't have to rush anything and we can take our time and get it right. I know this is much bigger and the mirror is obviously is so crucial to it because that's where the uh, reflected images of, of deep space are gonna come from. But how does this uh, differ from the results you're going to get from the Hubble. And, and I got to ask, am I going to get the same kind of amazing screen savers for my desktop computer that you got from the Hubble? So we can guarantee you the same amazing uh, shots like you got from Hubble. The mirror for Webb is bigger. Uh, infrared uh, light has a longer wavelength, but the mirror is big enough that the images we get from Webb will be just as sharp as Hubble images. Now, why do we look at them? Uh, or why are we doing this uh, if we already have Hubble? Well, Webb is an infrared telescope, so it explores a different part of the spectrum, which will tell us different things about the objects. And so by having both Hubble and Webb, you can learn a lot about the physics uh, that is driving sources uh, in the cosmos. And, and basically kind of step back in time, kind of, kind of reverse engineer how, how this universe began. As I understand, the device will be parked far away from the Earth. Why? Uh, because we're an infrared uh, optimized telescope, that means we're measuring heat radiation. So we want to be far from sources of heat, just like if you're looking in visible light, you want to be uh, far away from uh, light you observe at night. So by going far away from the Earth, we're not close to Earth, which is a big uh, source of heat. And that's the main reason we're going to L2. That is amazing. Dr. Eric Smith from NASA, we are going to be watching on Christmas Day and, as, as I know you are, hoping for the best. Thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you.